quick, simple, and easy. Hey y'all, APG Jamie here, and I'm happy you're here too. Today brings us Second Saturday Art. Our motivational prompts were Unicorn Day, Ladybug, Rainbow, Raindrops, Tulips, Haiku Poetry, Earth Day, and an Early Mother's Day. I went with ladybugs. So, um, I had this thing that came in a bottle of perfume. And, and it kind of like folded out. And it was all cool looking. Which, if you haven't seen it already, you will see it. I don't know. Because I was reading. I wasn't watching the screen. Anyway. We'll get to that in a minute, I'm guessing. So, I uh, went with ladybugs. Y'all know I've got these birthday bugs. Oh, there's a list of ingredients in the description below. Along with links to my fellow hopping artist, y'all, for Second Saturday Art. Because it's hopping fun. Anyway, I uh, stamped them out on red cardstock. Because, you know, ladybugs are typically red. Although, some of them are kind of orangey looking. Anyways. Stamped them out, uh, die cut them. Sometimes when you die cut a stamped image, it doesn't die cut perfectly. I ended up losing one of them because it totally slipped in the in the in the big shot, y'all. It happens, okay? Because I really only needed like three, but we're doing five. Well, we end up with four anyway. Uh, Stamped them. I colored in the parts of the legs where I wanted them to look more like legs and not miscut red cardstock. <laughs> and then we've applied some uh, glossy accents because it stays nice and kind of domed up on there. I liked it that. So that was the, the little uh, fold out dilly that came in the perfume. And I'm like, that is so perfect for a journaling spot. Because, you know, you've seen them. Other people have done them. You've seen them. And I thought, yep, going to use it for a pattern. And it just so happened, y'all, serendipity strikes again. I had those scrapped, scrap dye colored papers there. I don't know what they're dyed with. I, I don't remember, y'all. They were scraps. And it was like the perfect width and per near the perfect length, which is good enough. And so, you know, I did that. You can score them if you want to, but it's really not necessary. Once once you know what size you want your top little fold over to be, you just fold up your piece of paper so it's all folded up. That's basically it, okay? And I thought, well, you know, that's, that's pretty simple, but I don't want to be quite that simple. So I decided I was going to stamp an image in there. Now, some of these scraps I have are a legal size paper here in the USA, which I believe is eight and a half by 17. Okay. So I'm just using some stamps and stamping some pretty flowers on there. I did different treatments on them. Some of them I used different colored inks. One of them I used colored pencil on. One of them I missed stamp, so I ended up cutting it off that end because you can shorten these if you want to and then uh because i'm going to use the the ladybugs as a closure for this here journaling spot thing i went ahead and die cut some black cardstock again it's scraps y'all and i'm going to use this here xyron that i picked up at my charity shop on on you know well i would say on clearance but it wasn't on clearance it was at the charity shop and uh i don't know how much i paid for it y'all you know with me it wasn't much so we're using that to put the sticky on the back sides of them and we're going to layer our now hopefully i don't think they were actually dry i think after i tried one of them i came back the next day i, I don't remember y'all it's it's been a couple of weeks i'm telling you what anyways you want to smoosh down uh your your paper well cardstock in this case it's lightweight don't don't no matter and uh, so that all the sticky gets on there really good and uh, yeah see it's the next day pretty sure and we're gonna take the black with the sticky side because now it's a sticker right and we're gonna put our red one on top of the black one we're gonna line it up as best as we can that's not perfect okay pretty close good enough you won't be able to know the difference okay just because I wanted it to be just a little bit heavier. 
I probably could have die cut heavy cardstock, but I didn't have any in red, and I didn't feel like painting any. And these were all afterthoughts anyway, and just me crawfishing to uh, fill airspace, voice space. <laughs> Portions of the video have been removed for your viewing pleasure, as long as, as well as possibly being sped up ever so slightly. Okay? Because this is a simple project. I'm, I made it a little more complex by uh, die cutting and layering up the bugs and putting the glossy accents. That is so totally not necessary. You can use these in pockets. You can attach paper clips to them. You can clip them in somewhere. You can put, you, you can do whatever you want to with them, y'all. Okay? Okay. They're just quick and easy. Scraps, I'm telling you, it's a way to go. Anyway, this does is a premiere hop, which means during the live premiere, it's a live premiere. The uh, artist will be uh, in the live chat. Thereafter, it will become a, a typical regular recorded video, although they're outstanding. I'm just saying because they are. And there I'm taking that bug and I figured out I wanted it at whatever specific angle I decided I wanted it at. And I put some glue on that part behind the bug so that the folded over edge would slip underneath it and stay closed it that way. Now I did uh, miss film, or I should say I didn't film, I guess that's missing film. <laughs> Where I took uh, the top part there and I just folded in the top left and right corner to make it a point so that it kind of looks like an envelope, y'all. It sort of looks like an envelope, okay? It's not. It all unfolds and it's nice, plenty of journaling spot, y'all. You can make them short or big or long or you can make them any size you want to. Then I found these stamps and they had some fun little sentiments on there and I thought, yeah, let's use those. Like I said, list of ingredients below the hop uh, link mm -hmm. for the next videos up. And just stamping around. Each one got a different one. As you can see, there's a white white, white one up there. I think I, I ended up knocking it off my desk because I don't know what happened to it. I, I just don't. But I had misstamped on the inside of it and I just cut that part off. So it was a little shorter than the other ones anyway. Don't no matter. And each, like I said, did I say that? I probably did. Each one's getting a different little sentiment on it. And, you know, you can you can collage on it. You can do anything you want to on these. Okay, here's our little flip-flop part. I know. Pretty quick, y'all. Oh, there's the white one. Maybe it didn't make it in the final photo montage. I don't know. And the bugs, I should have used a lighter color red. But I didn't have a lighter color red. Maybe I'll think about it next time. Next time I see some red paper somewhere, cardstock, something on sale. I don't know. See, here we're going to unfold it. They're all pretty much exactly the same. Oh, and secondary, it's kind of rainbow colors. Kind of. If you want to reach for it. Okay. <laughs> Y'all. They're cute. And they would just probably go in any kind of nature themed or spring themed or summer themed or I don't know they wouldn't go with with the fall or Halloween I don't think well maybe that orange one would mm -hmm. ta-da photo montage <laughs> hi y'all please be sure to go by and visit all my fellow hoppers, especially if you missed the premiere, it's okay. We're still very watchable, very recommendable, okay? Go ahead and uh, give everybody a like and a share their videos with your friends because we all really enjoy that kind of thing. Uh, subscribe to them if you're not already subscribed because everybody likes that too. We all appreciate each and every one of you. Thanks for watching and happy arting, y'all.